Now to Article 9. Move that the town appropriate $150,000 for the purpose of purchasing technolo techno technology equipment, software, and associated costs and computer related materials, including installation for the school department, including without limitations the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, that to meet this appropriation, the treasurer with the approval of the select board is authorized to borrow $150,000 and issue bonds or notes, therefore under chapter 44, section 7, 28, for the gen of the general laws or pursuant to any other enabling authority. Is there a motion? Is there a second? School Committee Molly Keegan, if you're to speak to this article, please. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, this evening, the School Committee is asking town meeting to approve an article. Um, we understand this is a significant sum of $150,000, but it matches the incredible need that we have currently at our elementary school. Um, just a couple of points of clarification for you in terms of the financial impact of this. This is uh, being presented as a five-year borrowing, and what it means is that this can be uh, contained within the current levy limit, so there is no additional tax. Are you okay, Mr. Moderator? Okay. <laughs> There's no additional tax impact um, on your property tax bill. Okay, so we just want to make that clear because there have been a lot of questions on that. Uh, another point I'd like to make is that um, before I turn it over to our superintendent, Donna Moyer, to talk about the educational import of this article, is I would like to thank the community. Uh, we talk a lot about community engagement and the rallying around the need for this technology um, on behalf of the elementary parents, the teachers, the staff, and the administration has just been incredible. I think that everybody has really come together and understands the need here. And um, to further explain that to you, I'd like to introduce Donna Moyer. Good evening. My name is Donna Moyer. I'm interim superintendent. <clears throat> I'll try to be short and concise. Molly said we identified a need. There are really twofold needs. The first is to provide the opportunities and experiences that a curriculum that's enriched with technology will have for our students. The second need is there are tremendous inequities within the school district in terms of student access to an enriched curriculum through technology. For example, at Hopkins, 88% of the classrooms have interactive boards that the teachers can use to present the curriculum. At the elementary school, only 33% of them do. There's an inequity within the elementary school. 33% is four classrooms. That means the students in those four classrooms only have the opportunity to experience the enriched curriculum. And while it's true that it keeps kids engaged, they love kind of the glitziness of it, and it does keep them engaged, really it is an instructional tool. It allows the teacher to di differentiate instruction more easily. It allows students to be challenged and retaught. There are programs that if you answer so many questions or problems correctly, move the student on to a more challenging platform. And similar programs that if the student is struggling, move them back to a reteaching mode. It takes the kids places that they haven't been. They talk to people that they've never talked to. And they're able to experience things that they never would have, like simulations that the technology offers. So we're asking for your support for this article. I prefer not to call it a technology article. I prefer to call it a curriculum enrichment article. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, this is a two-thirds vote. I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. We have a very shy lady in the back of the room today. Her name is Stacy Mashinsky. <laughs> Stacy's the one who put the walk and the run together two weeks ago that generated over $22,000 for the schools.
Stacy, I know you didn't do it alone, but I, I'm remiss. I don't know who helped you, but whoever it was, we appreciate their hard work as well. Thank you.